it was a week of confirming things we mostly knew. The San Francisco 49 ERS and the New England Patriots dominated the competition and stayed undefeated and the red-hot New Orleans Saints, as expected, got even better with the return of quarterback Drew Brees. Week 8 also saw Adam Vinatieri rise to the occasion and Eddie Pinero fail to do the same. Here's what we learned. Tevin Coleman made an excellent decision in free agency. A 26-year-old running back, Coleman was an unstoppable force in San Francisco's 51-13 win over Carolina, piling up 118 yards from scrimmage and scoring four touchdowns. He anchored the offense while San Francisco's defense embarrassed the Panthers, helping the 4-9 ERS prove they could beat a good team after weeks of beating up mostly on the NFLS also runs. San Francisco is 7-0, while Coleman's former team, the Atlanta Falcons, lost at home to Seattle, dropping to 1-7. The Falcons' Super Bowl appearance three seasons ago seems like ancient history. The Patriots' defense can win a game in a span of three plays. Leading 3-0 in the first quarter, New England's Don't A. Hightower returned a Nick Chubb fumble 26 yards for a touchdown. On Cleveland's next offensive play, Chubb lost a fumble yet again. After the Browns' defense forced a punt, Baker Mayfield threw an interception on first down, setting the Patriots up for an easy touchdown. The three consecutive turnovers helped lead to a 17-0 deficit in the first quarter of a 27-13 game. First, and second-year starting quarterbacks dropped to 1-38 in regular season games in Foxborough since 2001. SAQUON tossed him, via at NFL, pick.twitter.com slash D7ESDAZ3XQ. Immortality is not always a good thing. Detroit got off to a fast start behind Matthew Stafford and held on to win at home. But Will Harris, a rookie safety for the Lions, earned a permanent spot on Saquon Barkley's career highlight reel and will be hearing about the play for years. On a catch and run in the fourth quarter, Barkley was coming out of a spin and took a direct hit from a charging Harris. Not only did Barkley not go down, he simply reached out with his left hand and slammed Harris head first into the turf then ran right past him. Teddy Bridgewater's time will have to wait. Bridgewater, the Saints' veteran backup, did an outstanding job filling in for Drew Brees, going 5-0 as a starter and making a case for himself as the franchise's future win, if Brees decides to retire. But Brees returned this week and took New Orleans to a different gear than it had seemed capable of with Bridgewater. Brees, 40 threw for 373 yards and three touchdowns, leading the Saints to a blowout win over Arizona even though Alvin Kamara, the team's top running back, was unable to play because of an ankle injury. The NFL has Pyrrhic victories. The Houston Texans won a thriller against Oakland, but Deshaun Watson got kicked in the eye while throwing the go-ahead touchdown pass he finished the game but the injury should be monitored and J.J. Watt was lost for the year with a torn pectoral muscle. The Colts are glad Adam Vinatieri didn't retire. After a brutal two-game stretch to begin the season, Vinatieri heavily implied that his 24-year NFL career was coming to an end perhaps immediately. The NFL's career-leading scorer, Vinatieri decided to stick things out and on Sunday he proved he still had some magic in his 46-year-old right leg, connecting from 55, 45, and 51 yards, with his last kick handing Indianapolis a 15-13 victory over Denver. He may want to reach out to Chicago's Eddie Pinero to offer some advice on how to get through a rough patch. The Bears pulled their surging offense off the field late in the fourth quarter, putting all the pressure on their 24-year-old kicker, who had not yet turned one when Vinatieri made his NFL debut. Pinero's attempt at a 41-yard game-winner sailed wide left, and Chicago lost, 17-16. Gardner Minshew isn't going to make this easy. When Nick Foles went down with a broken clavicle in Week 1 while throwing his first touchdown pass for the Jaguars, no less it seemed like a disaster. Instead, Minshew, an unheralded rookie out of Washington State, 
has been a consistent bright spot on the field and an absolute sensation off it, rising to near folk hero status in Jacksonville. The team has said Foles may begin practicing next week, but after Sunday's easy win over the Jets, Minshew is 4-3 as a starter, and had his team within seven points in each of his three losses. A fan base that has grown attached to its horts and its fake mustaches is likely wondering if Foles needs to come back at all. Fans of defense may have been averting their eyes, but a matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Giants provided two of the five best quarterback performances of the week, with Stafford hanging on to win what ended up being a close game against the rookie Daniel Jones. David Montgomery finally had the breakout game people had been expecting, Nick Chubb got over his early fumbles to have a strong game against New England and Christian McCaffrey complemented his rushing performance with another 38 yards as a receiver. But none of them could match Coleman's four touchdown day, three rushing, one receiving. If the idea of the NFLS London games is to get people in Europe excited about American football, a double reverse flea flicker that results in a 65 yard touchdown pass to Cooper Cup seems like it could do the trick. That was just one of many outstanding plays from Cup, with Jared Goff joking after the game about how they thought about trying to get the young receiver to 300 yards. Asterisk except when it takes more. Texans 27, Raiders 24 that was a lot closer of a game than Houston would have preferred, but provided Deshaun Watson's eye doesn't result in him missing time, the Texans should be able to withstand the loss of J.J. Watt. 49 ERS 51, Panthers 13 coming into this week, San Francisco had only beaten one team with a winning record and even in that game they made a 3-2 team fall to 3-3. A blowout win against a team that was previously 4-2 and on a four-game winning streak, should quiet any remaining doubters. Patriots 27, Browns 13 after Cleveland's surge of three turnovers in a span of three plays helped lead to a 17-0 deficit, all but assuring the Browns' fate, Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb and the rest of the Cleveland offense outscored the Patriots by 13-10. Packers 31, Chiefs 24 a wildly entertaining game in which Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay just barely held off Matt Moore and Kansas City was a letdown after last week's blowout, but it made for an exciting Sunday night. Saints 31, Cardinals 9 Teddy Bridgewater isn't the only capable backup in New Orleans, Latavius Murray filled in for the injured Alvin Kamara and the veteran runner had 157 yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns. Chargers 17, Bears 16 coach Matt Nagy wanted it made clear that he did not regret letting time run ahead of Eddie Pinero's failed game-winning field goal try, rather than going for a touchdown. Zero thought of throwing the football, zero thought of running the football, Nagy said. You understand me? That's exactly what it was. It's as simple as that. Rams 24 Bengals 10 Los Angeles has a two-game winning streak, no need to pay attention to who they beat, move along and they can thank Cooper Cup, who had a career day with 220 receiving yards. Eagles 31, Bills 13, either Philadelphia is way better than anyone realized Oregon Buffalo is nowhere near as good as it seemed during its 5-1 start. Titans 27, Buccaneers 23 Ryan Tannehill was fantastic yet again and Tennessee won its second straight game with quite a bit of help from Jameis Winston, who threw two interceptions and lost two fumbles. Jaguars 29, Jets 15 Sam Darnold has thrown seven interceptions over his last two games. Seahawks 27, Falcons 20 Matt Schwab passed for 460 yards Indiana, place of the injured Matt Ryan but Atlanta was down 24-0 at halftime and only closed the gap because Seattle took the second half off. Lions 31, Giants 26 It was a fourth consecutive loss for Daniel Jones, but it was hard to pin this one on the Giants rookie quarterback who threw for 322 yards and four touchdowns. Colts 15 Broncos 13 Adam Vinatieri's huge day for Indianapolis was partially enabled by Denver's anemic offense. Joe Flacco showed his frustration with the Broncos' conservative approach afterward. I just look at it like we're now a 2-6 football team and we're like afraid to go for it in a two-minute drill, you know, he said during his post-game news conference. 
who cares if you give the ball back with a minute 40 seconds left. They've obviously got the field goal anyway.